So now let's get started with the Penly app. The Penly app is for Android users and is a very great app. I've tested several apps out there and this is by far the best one for Android users. I like that it has a very easy interface and it also gives you several features that before we could only find in the iOS apps. So this is a step up for the Android users and I'm really loving this app. So when you open this app, you have this dashboard, your library, here's where you find all your notes and you can also create folders to organize yourself better here. So at the top, you can just reorganize your files uh, based on name or how recently modified they have been. And you can search for files here. You can send them feedback or report some bugs. You have some tutorials that you can watch. And these uh, settings here, which I normally keep as they come, but there is just one here, this allow interaction in edit modes that I turn on. And I'm gonna show you what it is, what it does, and you can decide if you want it on or off. To import a document, you go here on this plus sign and import a document here. You can import a PDF uh, that you find in your tablet, or you can create a new document. Here you can choose the dimensions of your document. You can choose the orientation. I'll make it portrait. The color of the background, the color of uh, the paper that you're gonna be writing on, and the number of pages here. So I'm gonna put five and create. So now I have this new note with five blank pages. There you go. And if you'd like to create a folder just like this to organize your files, you create folder here. So now let's open a document to check out the tools, the editing tools that they have. Here in these four squares, you see all the pages of your document. If you want to edit this, you can select all of the pages here, or you can uh, select one page by just clicking in the ones that you want to select. Then you can copy, you can cut, or you can delete them. Here on this page settings, you can also quickly go to any page on the document just by clicking on it. On the plus sign here, you can create new pages inside this document. Say I want to add a blank page here. I would be creating a landscape page with a white background and I can click to create and now you see I have a blank page in between my pages but this is not what I want to do so I will edit and delete it now here in this area are the editing tools so we have the pencil the highlighter the eraser the text tool the shapes tool the image tool and the lasso tool the selection tool I'm gonna walk through all of them now so the pencil is what you use to actually make hand notes in your digital journal or digital planner. You can click here and select from three different types of, uh, of brushes and some of them have pressure. Here you can select the size of your brush, but if you click again, you can also make different sizes here. Here at the top, you have the four colors that are easy for you to edit and change the color of the text without having to press anything else. But all of them, you can edit all of them and change for whatever color you want by putting the hex code here. And you can also add as extra favorites here at the top. So you have these favorites and each of them can be changed to anything else. Next, we have the highlighter tool, which is a uh, very similar tool. You can have different size and also change the size of the brush. And here as well, you can change the color of each of these. The eraser tool, you will erase everything that you write. And you can change your size of the brush here, but you can also change what it will erase. So if you want to erase shapes and images or links or group of stuff, text even, you can just select here what you prefer uh, to erase with your eraser tool. The text tool is in case you want to uh, type instead of writing by hand. And you can select this and change 
size, you can change the font, you can make it italic, bold, or underlined, and you can also change the color to whatever you want. Next, we have the shape tool, so you can have lines or square or rectangles, circles, and shapes with many angles. You can change the color of the outline and the color of inside the shape by clicking here. The image tool lets you add images or stickers to your journal or digital planner. Once you click here, you have these extra options and then you can click here at the top. You get some for free with the app or you can create different, different collections like I have done and then you can just click and add your image. To create these collections, you would click on this plus sign, create an empty category, or you can create a category from a folder. This is what I like to do, because if I click here, I can just find a folder. I'm gonna add the flowers again, and I can create an entire category with all these images just with one click. I will allow Penley to see them, and here I have another folder with these stickers. Now they are all ready available to me. But you can also click here to open a folder and import the stickers one by one like this as well. If you don't want to create a collection of stickers. And the last tool or the selection tool is what allows you to select your items. You can select them, make them larger smaller you can change you can change the ratio of your images or shapes or text and you can rotate it you can copy and then paste you can put it on top or under other elements just by clicking here let me see this way is easy to see. I'm gonna put it under my file. So now it's under this square. And you can select everything that you have on your, on your page. You can add links to these shapes or images or whatever you want. You can delete them. And then if you click here, you can uh, check or uncheck what elements you want the lasso to, to work on or not. So if I don't want them to work on shapes, I will take this out. And now if I try to select this, you see that the shapes are not selected. This is very handy sometimes when you're trying to select different things. So you can come here, select and unselect what you don't want, make edits to your shapes, images, items, text, and then you can select again what you want to edit later. Now, next here you have this locker. So when you lock your screen, you cannot go to next page. So you're only gonna stay here. It does not apply to the elements. You can still edit them, but the page is locked for you to move out of it. And you can undo or redo your steps if you made a mistake. So now I'm gonna show you why I actually like to use this interaction in edit mode. So when you don't have this on, I need to have uh, all the tools unselected for me to be able to use my links. But when you have this on, you can still have something selected and you'll be able to use your links. So I prefer using this way because it's faster for me, but it does not work with all the tools. So if I have the selection tool uh, selected, it does not uh, open my links also doesn't open with this the shapes tool or the eraser, but all the other uh, tools it does work with. So I like to have this setting on because I think it's faster, but you can decide what you wanna do and to have the option to decide it is very good. And that's basically everything that you need to know to start using Penly. 
I'm having a lot of fun using this application on Android tablets and I hope you enjoy it too.